house. It is April 13th and I'm going to show you guys a little update like on, on the house. Take you guys on a framing tour. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have front porch. Hopefully, I'll get a little swing right here on this end, would be so cool. A little porch swing right there. Maybe a little chair right there or table. All right, let's go inside. Nana and Wayne. <laughs> All right, so when you come in, there's gonna be like a hall tree here for our shoes and um, hooks for like when guests come, they can hang their jackets, purses, and kick their shoes off right there. And then underneath the stairs, we're gonna have a hidden door. So we're doing paneling on this wall and then the door is going to be built in such a way where it's hidden in the paneling. Yeah. Is it going to be the a, like a push open kind of situation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's batten board and then it's going to be a push open. So it's going to like be completely hidden. You won't even know it's there. I mean, you'll probably know it's there. But it's not going to be a very obvious door. And then there's going to be an under the, the stairs kind of situation. So what I'm planning on doing is making this like a craft room. Or I might even make this a Lego room and like put all the Legos in here and then he can hide in here and build like in a light. Did we put an outlet in here? Yes. We did. Okay. So there will be light and electricity in here. Um, Scott even thought, talked about putting a tiny TV in the corner with bean bags and making this their little video game cave <laughs> with like a TV and like bean bags so they can come in here and play video games. Wouldn't that be cute? Or I could build a little shelf desk and it could be where he builds his Legos and I could put shelves on the wall and then he can like get all his Legos and keep them in here. Yeah, we do it soft and high Yeah, well, I've seen people, if, if we leave the stairwell open, you, put on that. Uh -huh, you can hang shelves from the bottom of the stairs. Oh, true. Well, that's going to be covered with drywall. I know. Not yeah. But Let's see. Still from yeah. True. We'll have you to decide. Not, you want that not yeah. <laughs> okay. So then this is where the fireplace is going to be put. It's going to be a custom. There's going to be shelves on both sides and then the fireplace will go all the way to the ceiling or the mantle piece will go all the way to the ceiling. So those shelves will be nice and deep. Yeah, I know. It'll be nice. And I'm going to put baskets on either side mm -hmm. for like blankets and stuff. We got wood. Do 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 do. 
We knew that we could. Nana, you're boring me with your song. <laughs> I love the windows. They're so big. This is going to be my Christmas tree corner. Yeah. And, and I'll put my fiddle here during the regular seasons. Is that window the same size as the garage one? Um, I think so, yeah. And so, then one of your masters. Is yeah. What I plan to do is put my fiddle tree here and then a table and then maybe an accent chair if there's room. We'll see. And then if you go this way, this is the dining room. Um, I plan to put our hutch here. If you guys have been watching for a while, you've seen my black hutch. We're going to make it into a bar hutch. And then we'll have some more like plant stands. Cash is here. What, bud? Okay, I have um, snack bar in my bag. It's a chocolate chip oat bar. Look and see if you'd like it. Okay, so this is the back door. This is a glass door, right? Like a window door? It's the same as your French door. Right, so I have three French doors, technically. In the big, big compartment. Okay, and then the stairs are here. So there's gonna be a little bit of banister showing. I like how it's like, we have to really look hard. <laughs> and then kitchen. This will be sink, dishwasher, two cabinets, one cabinet. Yeah, do you want it? Try a bite, you might like it. Big pantry. This is gonna be a sliding door, like a pocket door. Um, so, and then the cabinets will kind of come to like here and make this kind of like a feature wall. This wall is actually going to be taken out. We don't really know why it was built, but imagine that this wall goes to like about here and that will be the oven. Huh? Sure. And then fridge, cabinet, cabinet. Um, and then you'll walk through this way. There'll be a door swinging in and then we will have our secondary fridge hidden here and then this is our mud room it's a lot bigger than i imagined and then we have this is going to be our shoe and gear closet so we'll keep all of our shoes in here like the whole family shoes i'm planning on putting shoe shelves like on both sides of this closet and then one hanging rack across so that Scott can put all his gear in here. And I think we put an outlet in that one, right? There's an outlet in this closet, right? The mudroom closet? I think we put one in there for Scott's stuff, right? Yeah. And then we have a doggy door and I'm planning on building a bench across the top here. And then we'll have hooks. And so this will be like our drop zone. So like backpacks, purses, diaper bags, shoes for the day will kind of go in here. And then what I'd like to do is since this bench will be kind of high off the ground, I'm going to put the dog's food and water bowls in here, potentially like a blanket or a bed, because when we're gone for the day, we'll keep the dogs closed off in here. Uh, we'll shut the door and then they'll have beds and their food and water in here so that they're not loose in the house peeing on stuff. They'll have, um, they're gonna have like an enclosed like dog run space right outside this dog door. So they'll be able to come and go when it's cold out, they can come in where it's warm and if it's raining and they'll be inside and then they can go out if they need to. And then we have our powder bath in here. It's a lot bigger than I thought. And then, the garage is huge, huge garage. All right, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Nana's party time in the middle of the day, you're spoiled. Okay, so we're upstairs and right off of the landing, we have another beautiful window. We have kind of a crappy view of power lines, but we also have a stunning view of Granite Mountain, which is right there. It's beautiful. Um, so if you can look past the power lines, um, it's gorgeous view here. Um, and then I plan on putting some sort of like maybe a chair and like a cool accent table here, maybe a plant, like a tree 
because this all this natural light is just too good. Um, I also thought about doing a built-in bookshelf kind of situation here so that I can keep all of the books and then have it like come all the way up and then I can put plants in the window. I'm not totally sure yet, we'll see. Um, there's so many ways that you can make cheap built-ins, so I might do that right here too. It's kind of up in the air. And then, so yeah, this is the whole landing. There's the stairs. And then this is a bedroom. Um, we're thinking this will probably be Wayne's room just because Cash wants to be closer to me in the bathroom and Wayne is still a baby. Um, so anyway, this is room number one. It's got a nice view. And then all of the bedrooms and the loft have a walk-in closet. So that's really nice because then we can store clothes, toys, everything in these closets. I don't have to keep stuff like all over the house. There's so much storage here. I absolutely love it. So this will probably be Wayne's bedroom. I don't know if this one's bigger than the other one. I'm not sure. I think it's slightly bigger. Um, and then this is our loft area, which is essentially a bedroom. Um, we had to take a bedroom out in the final plans because of our septic tank size. But what we plan on doing is closing in the space here and like putting barn doors on it so that you can close it off if you want to. So that if like it's super messy in there or if I have guests stay over, I can just close the barn doors and then it just doesn't exist anymore. But for now, it's going to be a loft. Um, I also have a built-in desk space. So this little nook was cut out and reserved for me to put a desk or an office area. So if I do leave this as a loft, if the doors are open, it'll be nice because I can sit here and work or play Sims or whatever while the boys are playing and watching TV so we can all kind of be together and nobody's closed off. Um, so that is, I'm really excited about that. So I might do like a built-in piece of um, butcher block or plywood and just make myself like a built-in desk with shelves and I can keep all my stuff in here and it's just, lovely um and then again we have a closet here because essentially this was supposed to be a bedroom um so we do have a walk-in closet which is going to be great because i can keep all the toys in here um and what i plan on doing is like doing um wrap around shelves across the top in two separate layers so i can put all the like hot wheels tracks and like you know things that take up a lot of surface area I can keep them up in the closet so that they're not junking up the whole floor because what we want to do is put a TV on this wall and then have a couple of little chairs and then the rest of this space is just for play. So then let's go this way down the hall. This little nooky area I would like to put another like accent table with like plants and like a family picture or something really cute, maybe a mirror um, just for more storage. Um, and then this is the guest bath. So you walk in and there will be a beautiful accent sink here we got from Wayfair and of course a mirror. And then you turn around and there is a linen closet inside of the bathroom. It's gonna have like a bifold accordion door so it will kind of open this way and then shelves in here so I can put all of the boys towels bath toys I'm thinking I'll probably store like pull-ups in here um, extra shampoo conditioner toilet paper like it's all gonna be able to be stored in the linen closet instead of in the cabinet because the cabinet I want to try to keep very organized and then you walk in this way toilet and then there will be a shower tub combo here with ceramic tile and then we have a nice window all right coming back out this way so the next room is potentially cash's room this is the room he wants because it has two windows it's right next to the bathroom and from him from right here if i were to put his bed right here he can see my bed if all the doors are open. So if my doors are open and his door is open, he could potentially see me from his bed, which if you have a six-year-old that is scared at night and comes to your room to wake you up a lot, 
that sounds like a peaceful night. <laughs> so that is kind of why he wants this room. He also is having a hard time like using the bathroom at night. So we think if he's right next to the bathroom, that that will kind of help that situation. So anyway, here is Cash's room. Huge window, another small window. And then he will also have a walk-in closet. I think this one is slightly bigger too, which is nice because he's gonna have all the bigger toys for a while. So we can put some of his like toys he doesn't want Wayne playing with in here. And then again, all of his stuff. And then we have two more closets. This one I'm planning on doing a hanging rack. Um, and then this one I'm planning on doing shelves so that I can hang like winter coats in here and like Halloween costumes and things that need to be hung can go in here. And then in this one, I can do shelves. And what I would like to do is like shelves all the way around this thing, cause it's kind of big. So I'd like to do shelves, 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 or I could even do shelf, shelf, and then a hanger across. We'll see, hi buddy. And then this way is the laundry room. So we'll have washer, dryer, and then we will have a, yeah. There's a pippy on the, um, the carrier. It's just clipped on. You want to go give it to her? Or there might be one in the... Yeah, there's one on the on the carrier. Can you go get it to Nana? And then we're going to do a shelf here, like a big table. I'll put one, two, three, four laundry baskets underneath. And then some um, cabinets on top. So all of our laundry will be stored in the laundry room. I'm not going to have laundry baskets in the bedrooms. Because I want everybody, when they take their clothes off for the night... It's gonna go straight from the bathroom into, there'll be a laundry basket for each family member. And so it'll just go into their laundry basket. All right, then my bedroom, I'm gonna have a double door entry, which makes me feel really fancy and important. I've never had a double door entry before, so I'm pretty excited. And then you walk in and I have three windows, one, two, three, bed will go here. And then I don't know where dressers will go yet. I haven't sorted that out, probably one here one here and then the two tables and then the entrance to our bathroom will be a barn door entrance so it will it will slide open that way and tuck up against that wall so that i still have this whole wall to do something with i might actually put my longer dresser here with like a mirror and then my taller dresser with the tv mounted is what i'm thinking i'm probably going to do um and then i can put my gold chair in that corner so then you walk through here and immediately to the right, you will see our built-in shower tub combo. We had to do a shower tub combo because of our septic, but we have a six foot tub, super fancy. And then we'll have a ceramic tile situation. There'll be an arch up here and then shower curtains because I hate the idea of glass. I just can't deal with that. Then if you look this way, we'll have our nice big vanity in the middle, it'll be centered. There'll be room on each side of the vanity too. So we can put like trash cans and stuff. And then if you go this way, this is Scott's closet. And it appears small, but he only has, you know, a handful of things he really hangs up and his shoes. And then all of his other clothes go in the two dressers in the bedroom. So um, we're not worried about it being too small. This will just, it's nice that he has his own closet. Um, so he doesn't have to feel like he doesn't have room. Oh, hello. <laughs> and then, okay, go get Nana that pippy, please. And then come back up. Okay. And then this way, we have our toilet room. Nice and private, so you can close the door. And then another linen closet. So this will be um, my linen closet, and it will be all shelves, no hanging, because I'm gonna store like my towels and like makeup and hair stuff in here. And then my closet is this way and it's nice and big. And so my plan for this one is I have a, my Hayworth mirrored dresser set Hi. from Pier 1. So I'll put the dresser straight in and then I'm gonna do straight across, straight across clothing racks. And then I wanna do a small long hanging rack but then leave this corner empty for me to put my long mirror there. We'll see if this works out. If it does, great. If it doesn't, 
Then if it doesn't, I might put my big mirror here. Yeah, keep that in your mouth, please. Your fingers are dirty. Ew. Boys are gross. Um, I thought maybe I'd put my big mirror here and then do like two smaller across racks and then my dresser and then the longer rack here with the chair. So we'll see. I really wanna make this look nice. I don't need that much room because I'm gonna have a dresser and hang up space. Um, so, and I'll show you guys what kind of closet situation I'm looking into, but either way, super excited. And then that's, we have a toilet room window and a shower window, which is nice. Here's the view out the bedroom window. There's all the rocks down there. The Ouch. And then the view out the side windows. I love this because our bedside tables will fit perfectly there. And then I can have curtains and it's just gonna look so nice. The yeah, they're playing football. <laughs> So yeah, that is an official framed tour of the house. I'm so excited. Cash, are you excited? <laughs> Rude. Anyway, I have lots of plans for this home. This home is our forever home. So I'm very excited about it. Going down, buddy. Come on up here or come down. I don't like you up here with the windows open like that. I want you to fall out. I'm cutie pie. <coughs> Whoa.